Folks, we're with Ralph Haney, who has created an incredible invention and product in Glowblades. And Ralph, first of all, tell my viewers about Glowblades. Glowblades is an accessory that goes on ice skates and inline skates like rollerblades. They, they work on figure skates and hockey skates and uh, inline skates and also pick skates, which is the new off-the-ice practice skate for skaters. Uh, Glowblades is an accessory that lights up the surface beneath you and it's kind of like your own personal light show. Um, it really is outstandingly bright and colorful and full of energy. Um, ultimately, it's going to be wirelessly controlled and integrate with smartphones and each other and a wireless glove that we have to control it, inter inter -relate, uh, interface with the, with the internet and through Wi-Fi and rink controllers. Um, other, any wireless device really that comes along could be integrated with Glowblades. So it's a really exciting, revolutionary new way to go skating. And it's a heck of a lot more fun than just regular old skating. Hey, I love it. How did you come up with this idea? I love this idea. You know, it's funny. It was a little bit of serendipity, a little bit of uh, luck, and, and just happening to be in the right place at the right time with the right thing. I had a pen with me that had a LED, one little blue LED on it. And we were, I was skating with my family at Snoopy's Home Ice in Santa Rosa one evening. And I just, for whatever reason, I pulled this pen out of my pocket and I, shone the, I shined the light down on the ice. And uh, it created a really cool effect. The, the oh, you were trying to trip somebody up with that, weren't you? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the blue LED, blue is a really cool color because it's a cold color, really. Um, and blue uh, diffuses through the light crystals very well. So when I shined this light on the ice, um, I thought, wow, that looks really cool. And people around me kind of said the same thing. Like, well, that was cool. Well, it's funny. The rink manager was was standing off ice, and he said, "Hey, what was that?" And at first, I thought I was in trouble because you're not supposed to have anything on the ice—an iPad or a camera or iPod or camera, or anything like that. I, and I apologized. I said, "I'm sorry. I just shone the light on the ice for a minute." And he said, "Well, do it again. That was really cool." So I did it again, and he said, "Yeah, hey, that's pretty cool." And I, you know, I kind of put two to, two together, and I thought, "Well, has anybody doing is anybody doing this? Is there a lighted skate product? It certainly would be a cool thing." And he said, no, but we've kind of been waiting for this to happen. So it all kind of just started as, uh, you know, that was my aha moment. And it was certainly just, just a moment, you know, just off the, off the cuff idea. And since then, because I was watching the Olympics, not was, still am, but and one of the premier skaters, of Polena, she has spoken out for your product for Global Aid to talk about what she said in her performance in the Olympics and how, how jazz were you to see your product mentioned by her on her Twitter account, among other things. Yeah, pa Paulina Edmonds is very exciting. She's a she's got a very bright, pardon the pun, future. Um, I, I think there's gold in that girl's future. She's only 15 years old. She's yeah. a she's a Bay Area skating phenom, obviously. Um, Paulina loves glow blades, and she's very excited about going skating on light. Um, in fact, when, as she was leaving for Sochi, she was she uh, tweeted me and you know um, talking about her excitement, and I said, I said, hey, concentrate on Sochi. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can go skating on light when you get back to the Bay Area. Um, one of the uh, one of the strategies I've been using to try to uh, share glow blades with uh, professional skaters in the industry has been to um, tweet them because a lot of skaters are on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we do the whole social networking thing with Facebook. And we have our website, and we have the Kickstarter campaign and all this stuff. But Twitter is very active in the skating community. Yep. So I've been reaching out to several skaters uh, w through Twitter and just sending a link to one of our sizzle videos. And when a skater sees it, typically they come back at me and they, they tweet back and say, hey, this is really cool. Uh, when, when are they available? I'd like to get some. And I've had that happen with quite a few uh, really high-profile skaters. And... Um, Paulina was special because she's a brand new face, she's a local face here in the Bay Area, and obviously she got picked to the U.S. Uh, Olympic team, mm -hmm. and I just, you know, her, her excitement, her raw energy, youthful energy is so cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Paulina skating on light in, in the near future. And she's not the only one. You actually also have two champions that have been featured in your videos and have done an incredible job. Talk about them as well. Yeah, we have a few actually. Um, in our most recent Sizzle video, Kim Navarro and, and Brent Bomentry, who were who are members of Aerial Ice, they were on uh, 
Uh, America, America's Got Talent recently. Uh, they've been on episodes of Glee, and they've, they've, they're well known. They skate with the Ice Theater of New York. Um, Kim is a local girl here in, in Northern California, um, and uh, they are fantastic skaters. They skated on Glowblades a couple months ago when we shot our last Sizzle video. We we're very excited, and we're very excited to have them involved. Um, and then also on our board of directors, uh, we have uh, former U.S. Olympic team skaters from 2002, Charles Sinek and Beata Hundra. Yeah. Um, they're also very exciting skaters, um, and they're excited about Glowblades. And Charles and Beata have their own uh, skating product line um, called Penguin Specialty Products, and they're making a really cool uh, skate guard, which is very unique, called Rockers with a Z. And we're kind of partnering up a little bit. We have a lot of synergy between our companies. Um, and we're putting together a very special kind of top secret thing happening March 2nd at Snoopy's Home Ice, where Kim and Brent will be there, Charles and Beata will be there, Ashley Clark, um, a few other well-known uh, celebrity skaters hey, in the industry. You know the and address. We won't go any further with that with detail. <laughs> yeah, what's the address, by the way, for, for the uh, unit? Uh, Snoopy's Home Ice is on Steel Lane in, in Santa Rosa, California. It's a fantastic place. They have a wonderful ice rink. It's very family oriented. They have a museum and a gift shop and a very nice grounds. That's that's our home ice. That's where Glowblades first started, and that's the grassroots place. Now, is it? Am I seeing things, or do is there happens to be down there an example of Glowblades on your little table? <laughs> Let's see that. Let's see that thing. <laughs> Pull that out of there. So this is our first product, which is a. Look at a that. Uh, that is that is cool. I want that. That is this is cool. a touch. This is a touch product. So, you put, you strap this on. You just strap it onto your ice skate or your inline skate, whichever skate you're using. Um, there's a like a touch lamp. You can touch it to control the lights. So each time you touch it, it'll cycle through a different color. Um, there are six colors in this one currently. Right now, it's actually going out to zero brightness in between colors. But we're going to change that so it doesn't fade out completely. It actually fades out to a low level and in between the colors, and it'll not be quite so dramatic in between. And then if you want to turn it off, you just hold it down and it'll do a couple quick blinks and then it'll go off. Um, so this is our first product, which is uh, coming to market uh, this year, um, sometime this summer likely. This um, I mean, that's the, massively cool, I gotta tell you. That's so cool. Thank you. This, the, the nice thing about this particular product is it's a lo little bit lower cost, it's a little easier to make, but it also has a really nice footprint on, on the ground or on the ice. It's a big, beautiful footprint, very bright. Um, if I had something, a white surface, I could show you, but trust me, this thing I, is... You know what? I, see, when I, you're I, trying I, to apply it, its camera, it's, it's a it's, very bright product. It's really coming through very well without it on its own. It's, it's incredible. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's like, you're, it's like Iron Man and you're going to blast off or something like that. Hey, um, <laughs> how... I want one. How do I get one? How do my viewers get a hold of one of these? In well, you know, cur currently uh, we have what's called the first article product, and the first article is the product that's going to be mass produced, but it's going through its final testing phases. So I have about a dozen of these that we're testing right now, and I'm going to continue. We're going to continue testing with this, and um, once we once we get the funding we need to do the production run, our next run is probably going to be about 200 units which will actually start distributing around to the Bay Area ranks and, and uh, professional skaters that are involved and want to be involved. And then beyond that, we expect to do a run of about 5,000 units. So how can I get involved in the funding program? I hear you have a Kickstarter going. How, how do I do that? We do currently have a Kickstarter program going. It's actually going to time out pretty soon. So if you want to go skating on light, if you want to pre-order Globally, I'll at, go now. Tell at me. a big discount off retail. Yeah. We'll be, um, we'll, you, we'll, you I'll can put the link hurry. right here. I'll put the link right here. We can go there now, right? So yes. right after this, I'll put the link right here, folks. You can click on it, and we can all put our money into the Kickstarter program and see this to reality because this is a fantastic product. Well, thank you. I've, we've been at it for a while. We've done a lot of perfection on the early prototypes. Um, I wanted to speak beyond this initial product mm -hmm. is another product that is still under development, but it's going to take some refinement. As you see here, this is a wireless glove that's not miniaturized yet, so it's not fully uh, um, refined. But this glove is really cool because it offers remote control. Huh. So these glow blades are controlled by the glove. So if I touch my middle finger, 
Uh, we have blue. And if I touch my ring finger, we have green or red. I'm sorry. Why this one's I red. Like there's a Michael Jackson tie in there. <laughs> the oh, gloved no, one. Yes. Yeah. No, I, uh, that's something there. You know. I, yeah. I'll tell you something really cool is there are a few skaters who can do a moonwalk on ice skates. <laughs> uh, skate, you know, walking backwards the moonwalk on, on ice is really something cool. And not a lot of people can do that. Oh, you you know, put glow blades on them doing a moonwalk and it's, it's magical. It's absolutely magical. Wow. So anyway, this is, this is, so this is the uh, next generation product coming out with a wireless glove um, where you can control it just simply by touching your fingers together. We're working on freezing uh, secondary colors in between the fades. So if you wanted to get a really cool purple or chartreuse in between the red and the blue, you'd be able to freeze it. Um, in this particular instance, the pinky turns it off, so you don't even have to, re you don't, you don't have to reach down and touch the, touch the product at all, which is really cool. The other thing about this wireless uh, generation product is going to be the interface, like I mentioned, with um, other wireless devices. So it's going to interface with smartphones. So imagine mom sitting in the stands controlling Johnny's lights on the ice mm -hmm. or rollerblades or rink and playing a game maybe with a guy sitting next to her who's controlling his kid's lights. And, you know, I, we don't even know where that goes. There's also swarming where they all talk to each other and they automatically interact with each other um, dynamically. And, and again, uh, con being controlled by a main controller in the rink. Uh, or night hockey. Night hockey is amazing. There's a lighted puck, lighted goal, lighted sticks, lighted helmets. They all talk to each other. Blue team, red team, orange puck. And it's because it's all talking to each other or somebody scores a goal, the whole team could flash. Wow. And, the, and, it's, and it's, inter, it's interfacing with the theater uh, sound and lighting system too. So the whole experience of going into an arena and seeing a night hockey, hockey game is going to be something uh, you've never seen before. And it's absolutely revolutionary. I know that you're busy, and I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, the URL again is glow-blades.com, right? Yeah, is, well, the, the true product is glo-blades, mm -hmm. glow blades, but you can reach us on our website by spelling it pretty much any way you want to. They'll all point to uh, our website. Um, and we'd love to have you come in and, 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 and contact us if you're a reseller and you don't want to get involved. We're going to offer pioneer pricing this early in the game. We want to get some resellers on board and, and establish some relationships with partners in, in the industry. Um, we're coming out in 2014. The uh, world is going to go skating on light pretty soon. And it'd be nice to get in on the early game, you know. Yeah. Uh, for anybody who wants to skate on light early, go to Kickstarter. 2014, the year of Globe Lights. Hey, thanks a lot, Ralph. Appreciate it. Thank you, Zane. Cool.